Inequality is rising worldwide. In OECD countries, the gap between the rich and poor is the highest in 30 years. Average incomes of the richest 10% of the population are about nine times that of the poorest 10%. This ratio can reach up to 14 to 1 in the United States, Israel and Turkey, and 27 to 1 in Mexico and Chile. The gap between rich and poor is also widening in China, India and South Africa. Despite considerable progress, poverty is widespread. Half of sub-Saharan Africa lives on less than $1.25 a day. More than one billion people go without a safe source of drinking water. It is clear the benefits of economic growth do not trickle down to all. Technological change is increasing demand for high-skilled workers to the detriment of the low-skilled. More part-time work and greater flexibility in labour markets to improve employment has pushed up wage inequality. In advanced economies, the tax and benefit system redistribute less than in the past and in most developing countries, social security remains a dream. What can we do so that most people and not just a few, benefit from the wealth generated by economic growth. How can we make growth more inclusive? We must redesign policies to boost growth and inclusiveness. This means reforming taxation, education and labour markets to ensure both fairness and efficiency. Inclusive growth is not just about how much money you earn. Our capabilities and well-being also depend on our education and skills, on our social connections, our civic engagement, on our public institutions, on the quality of our environment, our access to decent health care. The OECD has a role to play in getting governments to think and act cohesively, to understand how policy in one area can have an impact in another. For inclusive growth you need inclusive debate. Trust is key. All stakeholders must be part of the process so that a broad cross-section of society has its say.